March 1st to 7th reading. That's right, we're in March already. Exciting. So let's take a look and see what's up for the week ahead. Okay, that feels good. There's my little crystal here. Ooh. <laughs> Aries, what are you doing? Let's take a look. Well, <laughs> okay. Okay, so I feel like you are coming out of like things think things have been going or were going pretty good and things feel a lot different right now i see like crowning this reading is the five of wands and i know i've always i always talk about my earrings are tripping me out because it blends into my wall i have earrings i don't anyway sorry um so the five of wands you've heard me talk about the fives before the fives are the most um I guess volatile number uh, or volatile card in the deck. It's just the, it's not a stable foundation. And in this card, I mean, there's people fighting and it's honestly like, this is bullshit fighting. It's not like fighting for what you believe in. It's just senseless ego stuff. And that is kind of crowning everything. So, um, you are really being guided. And I feel like there's two things. This could have to do with your love life or this could have to do with like business and career. And either or, either or, you are really being guided to try to stay out of the bullshit. Um, and I feel like there are some decisions to be made. We've got the two of pentacles here. You see a guy, he's juggling two things and like, for some of you, this is, I mean, this is being crossed with the devil card too. So for some of you, um, if you're like trying to, okay, it could be you or it could be your partner. Let's talk about love first. Let's do that. Um, and this does not apply to those of you that are happily married and everything's fine. Okay. But for those of you that are in a relationship that isn't too stable. Either you you are being a little tricky here and you're trying to juggle two people or, and, and not in an honest way. It's not like, oh, I told them I'm dating, like I'm dating other people, like you're being sneaky or it's your partner that isn't being quite honest with you. So you need to make sure you are taking that blindfold off and looking at things very honestly. Um, be careful when it comes to love, be careful. Um, and for you too, you need to be very aware of codependent relationships. You need to be aware of like falling into bad habits or going for, like going for people that you know are trouble. Like if you have a type that you always end up with and it's bad news bears, don't do that. It's not good. Um, yeah. And I mean the three, I mean the three of swords is pretty self-explanatory, but the fact that this is coming up along with the devil, I mean, this can have to do with there being a third party involved. Now, if this doesn't apply to you when it comes to business, I would say um, let cooler heads prevail if things are going fucking psycho at work or with your career or with your business. Do not fall into old habits. Do not feed into the bad energy. Do not lose your cool. This is very important. And any decisions you have to make when it comes to, uh, when it comes to money, or your job or work or anything, you are really being guided 
cooler let cooler heads prevail that is so important you need to rest and repose don't do anything while you're angry i mean that kind of goes without saying for any situation but um for this week especially so yeah and We've got a lot of wands here. We've got the five of wands, the two of wands, the nine of wands, the four of wands. There's a lot of wands and the wands have to do with the element of fire and action. So um, you are being guided to be open-minded this week in all aspects of your life. And if something ain't working, then you need to choose a different path. You need to change something and you have to be open to change. Um, and you're being encouraged to ask questions. Don't just take things for face value. Be inquisitive, ask questions. Even if you get on someone's nerves, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> you really do need to explore more and like I said, look at the situation honestly and see where you can make changes because there are changes that need to be made for sure. All right, let me, uh, we're gonna pull some more cards here. Since we're going into March, um, I have March love and career tarot scopes available so readings like this but a little bit longer and a little more specific and uh the links for those are in the description of this video oops if you're interested and they're only a few bucks to buy or to rent would love your support thank you more wands okay Okay, so you need to be, like I said, you need to be very honest with yourself because so that thing I said about you having to change stuff, you, you really need to get on that. Um, don't try to control everything and think that just because if you just control everything and do everything yourself, everything's going to be fine. Everything is not going to be fine, okay? Um, we have the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, and then the Tower coming up. And the Tower, I mean, the Tower's not terrible. The Tower is very uncomfortable, but it's not terrible. And the thing with the Tower is that the universe has given you enough time to sort your shit out. So... Whether it's work, your love life, uh, relationships, family life, um, with all those wands coming up, you need to take action. You can't let things be the way that they are. Things aren't going to sort themselves out. So you need to make some changes. Um, be open to change. Be flexible. And if you're not, the universe is just going to take your power away and do it without your permission which is extremely uncomfortable. It's not good. Nobody likes the tower. Like, it's not good. But there's something about an old regime, an old set, like an old, I just feel like it's old energy that needs to be cleared out and there needs to be room for new energy. So you got to make that happen. Like I said, when the tower pops up, that means that you know, right now you still have the power to have control of the situation and do things on your own terms. Um, but if you don't, if, if you don't, if you don't, the tower, the universe is going to take that away. So it's like being in a shit relationship and telling yourself, oh, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. And then eventually, instead of you taking things into your own hands, you get dumped or something. So you don't want that. So any hoodle, Aries, that is your reading for this week. So you've got some work to do. Action, action, action for sure. So uh, with all those wands here, you definitely got to get things moving. So Aries, that's your reading for this week. Um, I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you next week. So be good, behave, and I will see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.